When you first look at Adobe Express, it can seem a bit overwhelming, but I'm gonna break it down step by step so you can start creating designs quickly and easily right now. Let's jump in. All right, so we're just gonna head over to adobe.com slash express, and it brings you to this page here. Now, Adobe Express, if you're not familiar with it, is sort of Adobe's version of Canva. It's an online app that you can be able to design and create graphics. It also has a tremendous amount of templates that you could start using right away to make it even easier. So Adobe Express is part of the Adobe Creative Cloud. If you already have that, then Adobe Express is part of that. So you can just go onto the website and access your account that way. Or if you have not signed up with Adobe Express, you can get a 30-day free trial or there's also a free version. Now there's some limitations just like with Canva that you can't do with the free version that you can do with the pro version, but you could try out either one of those and see if it, it suits your needs and if you need to upgrade. But if you do already have an account like I do, you'll just go up to go to Adobe Express up here and it'll bring you to this page. Now yours might look a little bit different if you haven't been creating any designs, but it'll just to walk you through a little bit of what's available to you here. You have a couple of like quick actions that you can start. You can start by just uploading some content. You can create with AI, which I'll get into. You can explore some of the quick actions or browse some of the templates. They also have some templates here. And I believe this is sort of based on things that you've done in the past. This kind of menu might be a little bit different, but if you want to see more, you can go to view all. And this is a great place to start because this gives you a whole bunch of templates depending on what you're trying to do. So you just over here, if you're on standard and suggested, it just has a number of different templates, uh, Instagram story, a presentation, Instagram reels, Facebook post, a logo, business cards. And then you can go into these specific categories like social media. So you can create a TikTok ad or you can create a YouTube banner. It does support doing videos. So you can do basic video editing with it as well. So they have a video panel to just create like a mobile video, a standard video. You do just photo editing, documents, web pages. I mean, they really have a lot of templates that you can really dig into. And I think this is probably the best place to start if you're new to it, is to just select one of these templates. Let's say you wanna create a Instagram carousel, you click on browse templates. And then over here, it gives you all of these templates. You can see this is already formatted for an Instagram carousel. You can see here, they do have a little mark here on the ones that are part of the paid subscription versus the ones that don't have that are, are all free and included. You could also search. So you could go, I wanna do a fun food related template, right? And it'll come up with all of these. And you go, all right, I like that one and you bring it into here, and now you can edit and adjust it from there. And I'll get into all this in more detail, but I just wanna show you the templates that are available to you here for now, all right? So we go back out, and then down below here, it has your recent files. Now, of course, if this is the first time you're in here, it won't have this, but this is a good way to like jump back into ones that you've previously been working on to kind of use it that way. You could also see your stuff, which is, again, the ones that you've been working on, uploads, which are any files that you've uploaded. And then they also have a scheduler built into this, which is a little bit more advanced, so I'm not gonna get into this today. But this has where you can schedule posts if you link your accounts for Instagram or, or your social media accounts, you can actually schedule the posts directly from here, which is another nice feature to add in there. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna work with a, a template. You could certainly design from scratch and set everything for, for yourself, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna work with a template just to sort of give you an idea of all the different functions that you can do in there. And obviously all of these are applicable depending on no matter what your preference is or what template you're working on. I'm gonna do this for a YouTube thumbnail. I do a lot of these, so I'm gonna show you some of the templates that you can use for that. And so you scroll through here, you can add search, you know, like I'll search for tutorial type videos, and you could see you got some options that come up there. And you can just kind of scroll through and see what you like. And let's say we wanna try that, so you click on that. And it loads all of these assets that are in there so that you can edit those and change them however you want, okay? And this is a nice kind of basic setup. So you have all the elements are over here on the side panel, right? 
So you could see that like the star, you click on that, highlights that star. You have the like and subscribe, which is down there. You have the, the frame that's around it. And then of course the background. So you can go through and edit this however you want. Now, first and foremost, you might go, well, it's not a makeup tutorial. So you can click on this text and you can go, it is a Adobe Express tutorial. Now you can see it sort of like got it all, all skewed up here. So you could just click on the rim, right? The edge of it, you can see it becomes that plus sign. And now you can move this around wherever you want, right? And you can also adjust the size. So if you grab this little, in the middle, you can see this little dash mark there. You grab that and you extend it out. You can see now it becomes on one line, okay? So we're getting closer here, but I go, well, that's still too big. So you see the circle here, you click on that, and now you're adjusting the size, okay? So you can bring that in. Simple Adobe Express tutorial. Now I wanna line this one up, so you can click on that, or you can click on it over here on the side menu. But then you grab that, you can move it over. So it's all interface so that you can see exactly what it's gonna look like, and you're moving through all of it just like that. Okay, now one of the other things that it does is you can see when you click on this text, it comes up over here and it gives you some recommendations for the fonts that it's using. So I go, oh, I like this font. So you could click on that, right? And now you got this cool font like that. You could change the colors. So you can click on this and go, oh, I want it to be more of a green color. What I like is they recommend things. So this is what's really nice and really powerful about Adobe Express is that you don't have to be a graphic designer to start using this because it's gonna analyze your design and really give you sort of new elements and new suggestions based on what looks best in the design. So here's some colors that complement the current colors that are on the page, right? So you could select which colors you want that way. But it's totally customizable. You could change this to any font you want. You can make it bold. You could underline it, right? It has all of these normal tools. All right, now we can go over to effects and you can add some additional effects, right? We could have sort of a classic shadow there. You could add sort of a smooth shadow. You could have it lifted off of the background. You don't have to worry about breaking it. You could just click through and try different things, see what you like. And if you don't like it, you can always undo it. All right, so that's sort of your, your text. Right, and this is kind of how I like to do is I, I like to get my, my text established and just, you know, kind of play around with how I want that all to look, getting all the information that I want on there. Now, in for me, I don't know if I want simple up there. I feel like that's taken up a lot of space. So I'm just gonna take that, we're gonna delete the text, we're gonna click on the background, we're gonna delete that. Now, let's take a look at this picture. So obviously that's not me, but we can add my own picture, right? So you wanna go over to uploads, Click on Uploads. So you just navigate to wherever your photos are. All right, we got some of these. And I'm just going to take that one. So it adds it in here. Okay. And so we can move that around and put that wherever we want. And it's going to replace this photo of this woman here. So we just select that. And we're just going to delete it. All right, get that out of the way. And I'm going to position myself somewhere over here. Obviously, I don't want this background here. Maybe I do, but in my case, I don't want this background. So while you're selected on the photo, this is probably the number one tool that I use the most in Adobe Express, is you select your photo, and then all you have to do is go up here and click Remove Background. It takes a few seconds, and boom. Just like that, it removes the background and gives you a really clean cutout around your image. So now I can put this in here, we can resize it just like this, right? And there you have it, right? Now we can go into the effects and you can add some different color effects here. You know, if you wanna do something like this or you could just go to the adjustments, you can adjust the contrast, maybe brighten it up a little bit, highlights, bring those down, saturation, right? You can just adjust all these colors just to make it look exactly what you want. You can blur it if you want or sharpen it, you know, whatever you want to do. Now, you can see when we have this position that I go, oh, I'm covering up this little bar here. 
So what you can do is, again, this is this is like looking down through window panes, right? This is the layers. So this is on the very top. But if we move it down through these layers, you can see when I get below this, it now has this on top. So now this is over top so that it covers it up that way, right? So that's something kind of important to keep in mind. But like this star, well, I want that still to be behind my head. So I just move that down like that. And there you go. It is behind me. All right. So you could add more photos. You could add more text. Now, this background here, I'm not too crazy about. So we're going to go to elements and we're going to go to backgrounds. And we can search for different backgrounds. So let me see if there is a computer. All right. So you got some different backgrounds here with computers. And you can go, these are kind of cool. How about this one? We add that. So now just clicking on that, it adds that as the background. That's looking a little busy. Maybe something like this. Ooh, that's pretty nice. I like that. All right. So now we've got a background added in there. Then you can go over to design assets and you can go also it's still searching for computers there. So we can add, you know, different elements in there. Maybe you don't want you in there. So you can add add something like this. And again, it, these are marked whether, you know, if it's if it's an asset that is available to you in the free version or in the paid version. So I'm just going to click on this is kind of a nice little thing here. So we could add this element. You could resize it, right? You know, and you can put that down there. Let's just move all this kind of up. Here's kind of a neat thing too is that you can click on like the letters here, hold shift and click the box. And you can see now both of those are selected and then click group. And now it treats this as one asset. So we can move that up. We can add this down here, I'm gonna shrink that a little bit more. And there you go. Now you've got that in there. So you can see we started out with a template and now just adjusting these few things relatively quickly and obviously this is there's a lot more work I could put into this to really get this laid out exactly the way I want it but that kind of gives you a good overview of like adding text adding some of the effects and once that's the way that you want it you can go up here and save it as thumbnail okay now it will save that to your cloud to your cloud storage so it's there it's available whenever you need it and if you back out of this you can see it pops up down here and if you go, oh, I want to work on this one, you can open up this one. This is one that I did before. And you can add the adjustments there. You can go back and go in here and open this back up. Now, one other thing that I want to talk about is if you are a premium member, you can go down to this premium member setup, which if you're paying for this, then you can take a look at this one. And they have some additional AI tools that are available to you. You can generate images, you can generate a whole template, uh, depending on what you're looking for. You can upload additional fonts, you can remove objects from, from the frame, you can do some different stuff. But I think this generate image, so what you can do is you can write up a description of what exactly what you want this image to be. We're gonna say using crayons on a computer screen. Kind of a quirky sort of image to kind of draw people's attention to thumbnail. So you can add references if you have like a style or composition that you like. I usually skip this step unless you have like a real specific guidelines. And then you can create, you could say you want it to be like an art style or a graphic, oops, or photo, auto. So I'm just going to leave it on auto, see what it comes up with. And then you can go styles, you can popular themes, material effects. I'm gonna kind of leave this as a little bit more general and see what comes up. So then you just click on generate. It takes a few seconds to kind of composite this for you. And when it's done, it pops up with an image. So you can see here, so we got some colored pencils coming out of the screen. You could cycle through these and see the other ones. That's kind of cool. It's pretty neat there. Oh, I like this one because it uses, so we have hands in there. And we have, and that one, I really like that one too. That's really cool. And so cool, I'm gonna use this. So we're gonna add this sort of in the corner here, right? This of course is not probably how I would design this thumbnail, but for example's sake. So I'm gonna remove that and we're just gonna bring that underneath all this stuff. 
And maybe now I'm going, okay, well, that, that shows that it's a tutorial. So we could just delete that. We could take this and move that. And we just want to put that over here. And there you go. Now we have this image here that's sort of implying, hey, I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Express in a quirky way. So it's kind of a neat way of another tool to be able to add to your design. Or like I said, you could even generate your whole template and say, hey, I want a template for a tutorial on Adobe Express, and it'll create the whole template for you. I usually start out with a template and then just kind of adjust it to my liking. And once this is sort of all done the way that you want it, you can click up here to download and you have a couple of different options. You could save it as a PNG or a JPEG or a PDF and you download it and it'll download it to your drive wherever you have those saved. So I'll just open it up here and we click on it. And there is your finished image that you can now upload or post on wherever you're using that from or save it on your computer. So I hope this helped you out to be able to get started with Adobe Express. Uh, go in there, have some fun, and I'll see you in the next video.